Hello and welcome to KSB TV. Today, you have already seen it in the thumbnail. We want to talk about the HSI stakes and how you can treasure hunt the best HSI stake in order to get the best hex out of it. And this is something that we want to talk about with the hex line today. So hex line, how's it going? Have you done your research so you can uh, teach our viewers today? Of course, of course. So hello from my side. Hope everybody is doing all right uh, out there and nobody is like too scared about the huge volatility we have going on in the crypto market right now. And yes, today our focus will be how to get the best HSI stakes in the auctions uh, in a couple of days from now. And uh, yes, I have done my research, you know, uh, one of the most inform in informed guys uh, in this regards you know his crypto slots yesterday we have been on his channel last week he has been on uh, on the, our channel as well here on ksb and uh yes i would think so that i can present you a really good uh, strategy on how to select good hsi stakes and then we will also talk about the uh the timing of of all that and the different st strategies what are possible here and normally I always do a long introduction where we talk about other topics as well. But today um, it is a little bit urgent because the um, HSI liquidation auctions are coming up and we do not have that much time. That's, that's why we will jump right into the topic. Let me bring up the screen share here. This is the side that we will discuss in the middle here, uh, in a minute, Hex model. And Patrick just mentioned Hex Sloth. And if you go to Hex Sloth YouTube channel, not only will you find the YouTube video we made with Hex Lion and Abit Hex here, Crypto Sloth, but also you will be able to click on the second video here, for example, scroll down a little bit. And that's what I learned a lot from. If you click here on the calculator, then um, this will open up. And with this, it gives you awesome tools, like awesome uh, metrics of Hedron and Icosa in order for you to maybe predict the market market and especially this year was really interesting for me maybe we have the time to talk about that later on so um the last uh, thing yeah that I of course want... uh, can you can you can you um um post that in the chat please um, yeah, I will post that in a second. Um, something that I wanted to show, if, if you want to use this document here by Crypto Sloth, what you have to do is you have to uh, click on file and download it download. as a Microsoft Excel um, sheet. And then you can um, you can edit it because right now you see we are in the view only mode. But if, if you download it, then you can actually um, change the numbers and move around things that you want. All right, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you um, is obviously from KSB TV. Just uh, want to do a little plug here for myself because we have every single uh, second day, we have a new video coming out. The last one was just yesterday, the next one tomorrow and so on. And we have amazing testimonials of hexagons that we met on the 5555 tour. And I would love you to go there, leave a comment, leave a like and give us some feedback on that. That would be amazing. All right, and this was already done with my screen sharing here. We will now um, try to go into hex model, look in the different metrics. So, Patrick, why don't we start your screen share now? Uh, yeah, just a, just a moment uh, at first. So, for everybody out there who is not uh, uh, perfectly informed in what's going on here, it's about ninety days ago uh, on the Hedron system. The the developer did like uh, another system on top you can say and it's called icosa and with the icosa system you have the possibility to exchange an hsi stake uh, against icosa and especially in the beginning lots of people exchanged one of their hsi stakes against icosa just like to to have some exposure to icosa and in the background what happens is that those HSI stakes, they will automatically come to auction 90 days later. And uh, what does that mean? That means that you can get cheap hex stakes, so to speak, uh, because the minimum bet of all those stakes is just like a fraction of what they are actually worth. To calculate the minimum bet, it is per B share or like 1000 B share is one T share. So let's go with the T share. For one T share or 1000 B share, it, and if the stake is 5,555 days, then it's uh, 5,555,000 as a minimum bet in Hedron in order to send the stake to the auction. So, first, 
So the stake needs to have like the 90 days that it is like uh, possible to auction it off. Next step is somebody needs to pay at least the minimum bit, uh, the minimum heat run on that. And uh, once somebody does that, this stake goes to the auction page. And on the auction page, that's a 24-hour timer. Everybody can bid um, whatever amount of heat run they want to. And if somebody makes a bid within the last five minutes of those 24-hour periods, then the timer gets reset to another five minutes. So theoretically speaking, uh, an auction uh, where like a few players want to have the stake might be going on for for a couple of hours or even longer uh, until somebody does not have more heat run or uh, does not want to spend more uh, fees because each and every bet will cost you a transaction and that makes it also that you would need to have a strategy up front. Oh man, just today I saw the 140 GUI again to do something on the blockchain. Totally, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But Patrick, um, thanks yeah, for- Yeah, right now um, it's, it's cooled down. So yeah, it went down. For again. example, right but, now it's 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 okay. Um, thanks for explaining Hedron and um, Icos and now also the auctions. There's one little detail that I want to ask you, because if you send your HSI stake to the Icosa smart contract, um, there was something with advancing. Does the smart contract advance the Hedron out of the stake? We uh, talked yes. about that yesterday. And um, so it is actually like you sell your HSI stake to the ICOSA smart truck contract. The ICOSA smart contract advances the Hedron. And what happens with this Hedron? Uh, they are for, uh, they are yield for the, for the Hedron stakers. Oh, I and see. for the ICOSA, no, not for the Hedron stakers, for the ICOSA stakers and for I the see. water energies. All right. Okay, so Patrick, um, now we have explained Hedron a little bit. We have explained how the auctions will work. Perfect. So there's a 24-hour time period. And then if nobody bids after five minutes, it's closed. But you can actually keep it perpetually if there's always somebody bidding. And you already also mentioned the minimum bid. And then there's also the maximum bid. So can you maybe explain what would be there a is maximum? no there is There is no maximum bid possible. For, for the but, fair value. Uh, you can like... You can like calculate what amount of heat run you would maximally bid on a certain stake, and that's that's a range, you know. So uh, that's that's not like something you just can calculate, you know. Uh, so But for example, if the if the HSI stake you want to have has a has a 10x uh, heat run launch bonus, uh, the and it is one T-shirt, the minimum bet would still be the five. 0.5 million heat run, uh, but maybe somebody is already willing to put 55 million as a as a bet there because it has the 10x bonus. Uh, then it would be actually like 60 and a little bit a uh, million because it's the 5.5 plus 10x. Yeah, uh, and then there would be a crude hex already, you know, which also have uh, a value. There would be the principal hex in the stake, which also have a value. Um, and yes, yeah, and, and then picture. it has like the the the, the earlier T share rate, which means that the stake has more shares than uh, a stake you could make today. Uh, so and something that you have not it's mentioned a little yet. hard to 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 you know calculate the, the what might be the maximum uh, value of that. So yeah, I would, so you're absolutely and right, I would Patrick. not like go with that. I would not even even go with that. You know, I would just like calculate the minimum and would search for for stakes who are like near their minimum bet and not like uh, stakes who are already like 10 x over or something. Like that. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't make sense. And this is why we have discussed yesterday with Crypto Sloth that there is for sure a minimum bet that you have to make that the auction actually goes live, right? And now you have yeah. two strategies basically to pursue. Maybe you want to take the first strategy where you get the best deal, right? So you bet the least amount of money you are able to get the HSI stake. That's the best deal. If you really like an HSI stake, you can also approach it from the other direction and just bid as much money as you think is the maximum fair value bid, right? Everything that Hexline just mentioned, if you calculate it in there, if you just get your gut feeling and put a lot of um, hedron into this HSI stake, then you would probably win it because you overpaid so much, right? Like th these are the two things that you can try uh, to approach. And obviously the second one is not that uh, good of a deal anymore because you overpaid.
So um, what I would like to do right now, Patrick, is to go into hex model so that people actually have to see some numbers and can learn while we are talking about what is going on. Uh, sure, then uh, let's bring up my, my screen share here. Screen shares up. And let's see uh, how much there there is on the line, you know. So uh, in total, so that it's not like only what, what comes out next week, but most of those will come out next week. Uh, in total, the contract holds 6,700 HSI stakes uh, with more than half a billion uh, hex in it and more than 70,000 T-shares. So there is like a, a lot of a lot of stuff to get, you know. And what we see here is uh, the, the amount of stake hex, stake days, stake T-share, lock days, and launch bonus. Here we can like uh, move around with the with things, and uh, down here we would have like all the 6,706 stakes. So how to how to go from there, you know? So first of all, uh, you need to think about okay, what kind of strategy do you want? have there are in my point of view there are like two goals here uh the first goal could be uh, to search for those stakes which, which really have a launch bonus like here 10x 3x 9x 8x and the, the other axis you know uh that would be one strategy because uh maybe you can get a good deal there and then you would just keep those stakes and in the next one you might uh be able to sell them for or a huge premium because of heat for launch goals. And uh, especially in a bull run, people are likely to overpay for something. And the, the second strategy here would be to focus on the other 90% of the 6,700 HSI stakes, where you could get, you could just focus like to get a good deal. And then once you get it, uh, a, a nice strategy might to create a loop for yourself. So now you search for good deals, you get some good deals, you get those HSI stakes, then you exchange those HSI stakes again. Patrick, this topic I is way too important uh, that you can just um, continue because the audio quality is not the best right now, for me at least. So I want to ask the chat, can you guys give us some feedback if you were able to hear everything that the Hex line is saying? Because now I think we're going into a really interesting um, strategy here that you have made up basically because I have not heard it before yesterday. So please to the chat, give us a feedback if the audio of Hex line is still good enough. Okay, yeah, I will, I will just try because uh, actually your audio on my side was, was itching. All right, so now I see that it's actually probably me. I will go out of the chat really quick. You just continue talking because I hear that for you everything is fine. Continue. Okay, all right, then I, then I will go on. So uh, as the people should have understood, like the first, the first strategy, you know, going uh, over those... Uh, bonus, bonus HSI stakes, even bonus HSI stakes, or the other strategy is focus on, on the ones who have non-bonus uh, because I guess there would be less focus from the from the general public and uh, try to get those ones really cheap. And once you get them, you can exchange them for ICOSA and then make a one-sided liquidity position with those ICOSA on Uniswap. And uh, doing doing that you can create a 90 day loop where you start with hedron which you got for free on your hex stakes and you would end up with more hex than in the first place and obviously hex is like the the biggest liquidity what we have in the whole ecosystem so uh it is definitely not a, a bad thing if you have more hex in the end you know and then All right, Patrick. So the the uh, video, the okay. audio quality is still not hundred percent. So what I will try now is to remove your screen share, and let's also try to. Can you cancel your screen share, and then we will see if we still have the audio problem? Because what you just said is like an amazing strategy to have your okay. hedron work for you and just even make more and more hedron and even compound in the future. So um, we have Terry Duck uh, saying don't that the audio is not great. Strategy. I don't know what you hear, hear, but you don't make more heat run with this strategy. Well, you make more hex, I guess, right? Yes, you stake heat run, 
in order to get more financial energy, no. you put it into no. You don't you stake. That, you don't stake that, it. Then it's even more important that you uh, just uh, repeat it really quick because Terry Dog also had some problems listening to this. So just give us like the quick uh, run through. Because okay. Mars is saying now it's, it's the last time I tried it. Okay, <laughs> it's the last time I'm trying it. Okay, so two Thank strategies. You. The first strategy is to focus on the Hedron launch bonus stakes to get them ideally for as cheap as possible and then hold them till the next bull market because then you will uh, be able to sell that for a huge premium. I assume. I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure because usually in a bull market people are likely to overpay for something. The second strategy although is focusing on the HSI stakes without a launch bonus, maybe focus on those where nobody else wants to do a bit. Maybe those stakes in the range of one T-shirt to, to 10 T-shirts maybe, because maybe the, the big contracts like the Hedron contract and the Pauli contract won't uh, look as much as uh, on those little stakes. So maybe there is like the best deal to make. And once you get that, you exchange it again for ICOSA and make a one-sided liquidity position with the ICOSA. And doing so, you can create yourself a 90-day loop because in 90 days from now, you are just betting on the same HSI stakes again. And then you are ex exchanging the uh, HSI stake again for ICOSA. You make again your one-sided liquidity position. I... I will try to share all of that, like to show show the process of that. What do you think, David? Oh, I think that's a great idea. Uh, maybe we can even have this process integrated into our onboarding account so we can actually show the people how everything is going and um, how the strategy is evolving over the months to come. Yeah, when you, if, if you send me heat run that I can bet uh, on HSI stakes with the onboarding account, we can do that. But I don't uh, in the onboarding account we don't have any any or just one little stake, and that's why there aren't much hedron in that. I see. So um, if you have hex stakes, then your hex stakes accumulating hedron as well. But the price of hedron is a little low right now, so it might not be uh, worth to a lot of people to do that. And um, for big players, sure it is. But uh, if the smaller player probably just has to wait a couple more um, months in order to uh, the price to go up and uh, being able to mint again profitable mm -hmm. without uh, yeah the transaction cost. What so is great is that uh, SuzuQ is saying better sound. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Patrick, okay. show us what nice you have part. there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just like preparing the last thing. I just look up if I have all what I want here. Yes, I have all what I want here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yes, I need to share my screen here as well. Just give me a second, because I'm I'm on two PCs here. And I see you have to I, move your head a lot today. Yeah, no, all all good, all good. I I want to share all this, so it's 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 all good. So we can already bring the the screen share up here. And uh, so first of all, what I have here is the Hedron.pro uh, decentralized application, which where everything started. I think that next week we will also see, ah, we also see, we already see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, forget about the, the Hedron.pro site. I mean, don't forget about it, but uh, it's not that necessary. So we are going to use app.icasa.pro. And uh, as I see right now, uh, the, the developer Alex already updated the site. So we already see the point HSI auctions here. So we just connect our wallet. We see the T-share price. We see how much liquid heat, hex and heat run we have in there and uh, available in three days. So in three days, uh, everything will kind of start. And here we can already like browse all of them and here we see like uh also the 6800 uh of of all of those and, and um, do you, do you have the number already, probably how, how many come out on the first day yeah. because the 6700 uh, is the whole or all the auctions that will come out the next um, couple of months right yeah let give me 
give me can i see that somewhere uh yeah I, on, on hex model you can like uh search for that if you want to i'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it right i'm now. really not sure right now it, it should be uh, around like twenty not... five thousand, let's say twenty three thousand on the first day well what what around about twenty three thousand? oh no that's that's wrong but am I? Yeah, I'm T-shirts coming out. Twenty-three thousand T-shirts come out on the on the first day. Uh, we do not right, see yeah. how many how many uh, stakes that are in total. But it doesn't matter. The first day is really important because there are so many stakes coming out. It will be chaos, and no human being would be able to um, look through all the stakes. So um, there is maybe a chance for you out there to get a really really good deal. So let's continue, Patrick. Mm -hmm. Okay, here with the actions, you don't see anything right now because it's only available in three days. Uh, when, once it's available, you can press like the actions button here and can send, you can uh, make the first bit here. Uh, once somebody made the first bit, you have it down here in the active HSI Hextex auctions. And um, what do I see here again? I just need to search what I see here. Okay, I see like the stake shares and I see the stake tags. Okay, I could then. Uh, I I just wanted to to look something for myself because on my personal list I I wrote down the the T shares and the stake tags of the of the specific stake I I'm looking for, and yeah. That's how I can uh, find them again. It will be just like pretty, well, it would be pretty, pretty difficult to find something in, in this list. Wow, mm, that will that's be what, difficult. That's what I thought, but you can that make more. That will be really difficult. If you go oh down a little God. bit, what you could do, Patrick, is um, you could uh, show more pages. Yeah, yeah, like you, you, can, you, can, you can extend it here. That's uh, okay. But still, you know, then, uh, okay, now it needs to load. Can you do me a favor? Uh, can, you click, can you click up there on help and maybe search for let's say five 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 four? You know, does he, he is he able to search this page for a number or can you can you it? tell me where you see help? Yeah, go go up with where your you... cursor, totally up all the up, way up, until up, this up, end of your screen. At the end of your browser, you see next to window and tab, you see help. Don't you? Because I ah, see it <laughs> here, okay. Yeah. And like somewhere there should be like a search function for only this page. Maybe it's on file. That could be as well. No Let me check that for you. No results found. Hmm. Let me see. Somewhere I it is. Like I, I never used like something like that up there. All right. So click and on here. We are we are still we are still like loading. You can so click on I, command. I clicked on all and we are still uh, loading. So I don't know if, if something like that will work now. Because mm -hmm. you know that with my computer, sometimes it's <laughs> you make one click, you need to wait a minute. Yeah, that's true. But only you, only you, when we are live. <laughs> are you on your Mac? Uh, in this specific screen share, I am on my Mac. Yeah, because Perfect. I have so like click on, on the other command. computer, I have the, the, the other side screen shared. Yeah. Click on command and F. And then a small um, thing should pop up. And now just let's put in 5555 five, 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 because I see the 5555 five, five, five already. Zero of zero. Zero of zero. So it's not able to find anything in there, unfortunately. It was worth a try, I thought. No. So no, no, you look, you need you need the comma. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So we are able to yeah. find something there. So um why I said uh, let's try to find for Yeah, for... but you know it, it 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 says one out of ten, like one out of ten. <laughs> so you know it, it meh. Yeah, yeah, obviously oh, the page sense. needs to um, load all the things. If you out there have a better computer, I think this is what you can do. You can show all, right? Patrick's computer has not um, loaded all yet. Loaded, if, yeah. Load, if, if you have loaded everything, then I think you should be able to use the search function in your browser to search for your specific HSI stack. This means, though, you have to actually look manually for your HSI stack that you like. And Patrick, you said that you were looking for staked hex. And you were also looking for staked T-shares, right? Yep. So how did you approach your list? How, what, what were, was your um, idea on making this list for you personally? Yeah, because it will be like pretty chaotic. And as you can see here, uh, here, for example, I mean, I, I have two lists, you know. I have one list of those uh, non-HSI stakes. And then I have a list like of some of the, with the launch bonus. Which I want, just want to mirror, you know, to monitor, not to mirror, to monitor, and to go 
go there, you can, for example, here click on the 10x, and you can go, for example, uh, show me at least 10 teachers and show me at max uh, whatever. Patrick, um, like 90 teachers. maybe we should do it the other way around. I will remove your screen share right now, and I will actually go to the site and I will screen share because whenever you sc screen share, your audio seems to go away. And we don't want that. We want to listen okay. to every single word that you are saying. So give me a second here. I go to hex model really quick and yeah. share my screen here. I can I can easily show you like where to click, but you know now I am like uh, I messed up my my PC definitely because you know in on the heat one page I'm loading s nearly seven thousand uh, stakes and so on, and on the hex model page I'm like <laughs> uh, get go on HSI buyback. Uh, do we have to? No, no, the here, like in yeah, the second thing after home. Dot com or what is it? You you just uh, you, you oh, see, see hex it, model see and down yeah yeah yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's just uh, I don't need to type it in uh, above. And then yeah, the analytics dashboard. So you just scroll down a little bit more. You scroll down a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. That one, and here you, for example, click on the on the on the 10x. You can just like click on any 10x. What you can see, yeah. No, you should click on the 10x. I say it, not on the none. <laughs> yeah, and then on the on the right on the left side, you see stake T share, like the third one of the five. And there you move the the cursor like to. 10 through 90, for example. That's like the only thing what I don't like here because you cannot like move it to one. It's like <laughs> 0 0.01 or 10. <laughs> yeah, I see. It's a little uh, fucked up. Uh, but yeah, because if you go like 0 0.01 and now you scroll down, then you have like hundreds because lots of people just made like a little, a little one, for example. So now mm. you have like only those between 10 and 80. And now we already put it down to 21 HSI stakes. Yeah. That's good because 21, uh, it feels to me, I can monitor them. Yes, for example, yeah. But there, you know, you need to uh, first. You need to watch, like, okay, how much volume do you do you have, yeah? Because we are talking about uh, this launch bonus, no? So let's calculate the first one. Can you show me the first one again? Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, let's go to the second one. The second one has exactly like two hundred and fifty thousand uh, hex in it, uh, and it has thirty-five uh, seven. 73 T shares. That means 35,730 B shares times 5,555 days. That is already a minimum bet of heat run of nearly 200 million heat run. And this is a 10x launch bonus day. So this can easily go for 2 billion heat run, if not more. So that's how you need to. Uh, need to 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 look it up a little bit. And uh, Ellen, can you just go in the in the top bar where you have the ten to eighty? Can you go like from zero to ten? From zero to just ten. To... Let me let me try yeah. if I can do it. So zero to ten. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And then you see down there, you still have uh, 382. But now what you can do, oh no, it's already, it's already sorted. So like the 10 T-share one is the first one. And then uh, I don't know, just watch, the, just scroll down a little bit. Do you just need to scroll down in the list? Yeah. And then like four, three, you know, so you have the first hundred here. And if you go down the complete list, so on the first hundred, it is like between 10 and two t-shares maybe a little less yeah so uh if you sort it like that you also need to just like look up the the, the first 100 for example you know all right so with that and, the, and those the ones 0. you know with 10,000 hex with 10,000 hex or 1.43 uh, uh t-shares that means 1430 b shares times 5555 that's like only eight million heat run a little less uh for the minimum bet you know and uh to get one of those 10x uh, launch bonus shares it might go for 
maybe 80 million, maybe 100 million hedron, you know. So uh, maybe you want to to focus on the on the lower ones if you don't have, I don't know, a lot of hedron. But then uh, on the other side, you know, all the uh, the HSI stakes without a launch bonus, those will have like the minimum bet. And then let's see like for how much more they will go over the table. So and then we can actually see know, how, like much more, how much more is the market valuing a 10x, right? So let's see how much a normal 0x HSI stake goes by. And maybe we can derive like how much value does the market give it the 10x. But let me ask you this question here. Since we are talking about the HSI stake here with 10,000 hex and you see they all have 1.43 T-share stake, right? But this particular mm -hmm. that uh, one that I have marked here already has some minted hedron. 160 days are already minted. And this other one here, for example, I just clicked on it, has zero, zero, zero days minted. So let me ask you, Patrick, if you had only those two to pick from, which one would you bet on? Yeah, the, the, the zero one, obviously, but uh, it, it depends, like, what is the bet, you know? So as I said, uh, 8 million in that case is like the minimum bet. So if I see that somebody was just like betting the 8 million, uh, then yeah, with 8.1 would be a great deal. And it doesn't matter if there are already minted days or not, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, if compared, uh, the one with the with the zero minted days is already at whatever, 40 million heat run bet, then I'd rather go with the 8.1, you know, and uh, it doesn't matter like those 170 days of minted because uh, in a whole time frame of 5555 days 169 days do not matter that much it's great that you see it like this because um, i had the idea well probably a lot of people will be turned off that this uh, stake is already not a version anymore right it has been minted so maybe That's people emerged. will not will not look yeah, into these these stakes too much and maybe this is a chance yeah. here for the little guy to scoop up some really good t-shares all right, so what, what else could we show? Um, and now we were just concentrating on the 10x, right? But those 10x HSI stakes, they are not too many. They are way more without a 10x multiplier. So um, should exactly, we talk about yeah. this and one as well? Yeah, yeah, go go like refresh the page or something oh, like I that. I have to refresh. I was just about to ask, like, how can I um, bring that back? Everything. Yeah, I usually just refresh the page. So. That does the trick for sure. But it also takes a second here. All right, so let me scroll and down. And then you, no. you, yeah, then then yeah, you are already scrolled down. Now you, the analytics dashboard. That's mm -hmm. what we want to have. Then you go on the on the big blue circle, the none. Yeah, click, click, and uh, then we can also like again sort it uh, like down to ten t shares. Yeah, because maybe there uh, you can get the best deal as an individual. All right, let's see. But or here go like you to can... fifty. Only, only 200 or zero, yeah. One or 100. Yeah, because like the, the, the biggest to the smallest is like such a big uh, thing. And mm. here we have, uh, and here you go like bit start date, sort the bit start date. Yeah. yeah. That you know, and again, because those what will be the last ones. And yeah. So here we have like November, and then we can. No, we cannot sort it like by by two things. What I get, uh, what I think, yeah. Well, let's try to click. Where would you like to sort next? What would be the most uh, the interesting after the t-shirts? So the t -shares. let's see, let's take t-shirts. And uh, no, it doesn't allow us to do that. So, what you would like better, the bit start stake or the t-shirt stake? Um, Row. Bit start stake because you know uh, the bit start stake I I will see on icaso.pro uh, after the 13th and the other ones I won't see you know and mm -hmm. I would like to see it like in order you know because yeah so I guess the I, next thing I don't now... need to prepare for a auction which is in <laughs> December or January you know <laughs> that's true so I guess the next thing now would be after we um, arranged everything for bit start day and everything is now ending on November 13 we can concentrate the next thing should be to establish how much um, bidding power do I have with my hedron and what would I like to pick out here right mm -hmm. because I mean I, I for example I will I will do a lot <laughs> uh, but still I won't I won't monitor more than like 30 to 50 stakes oh wow yeah, I have. But that's already like a lot to monitor. Yeah, and I have no idea if I will be able to to do so. 
let's see. <laughs> but so it's, you it's really need to, to have... need to like. Uh, need to like look up at first. Okay, how much heat run do I have available, and then uh, according to that, make your make your strategy. You know, hundred percent. But it's I guess it's way better to prepare it like you are with your list with thirty edges ice stakes, and then it will be really chaotic for you because you are not concentrating on only one or two because you have so many. Uh, but you are um, doing that as a full time hexagon, so you should be good and you should be able to catch a couple of good deals. And then, like, mm -hmm. once the um, HSI stakes uh, liquidations are over, like, let's say in one or two weeks, I would love to come back and see um, how successful were all the hexagons. But obviously, we have to wait a couple more days for the auctions to start. You see here, November 13th. And, the first ones. and here, like as an as an example, uh, the, the let's go with the third one, the zero point seventy five um, T shares. So seven hundred and fifty B shares times five thousand five hundred fifty five. That's like just four point one sixty six million heat run. So f less than four point two million heat run. Uh, and this one does not have like any any launch bonus on it. So uh, this one, for example, I would write down bet until 10 million heat run. Mm -hmm. So you write like if you, because and, and, and then let, let's make the other calculation. Okay, you got this stake for just 10 uh, million heat run. How much are 10 million heat run worth right now? Uh, let's look it up. That's uh, what did I say? 10 million? No, that's uh, $28. $28, yeah, $28 to get uh, three quarters of a T-shirt. That's and amazing. How much is a T-shirt worth right now? I don't know, but I'm guessing like 1500 or something like this. Oh, no, no, probably 750 No, I did less. <laughs> 750 yeah, like that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I, I would need to look up like Hex Daily stats for that. So really, really interesting. And then, Patrick, um, in your list... And right, I, I mean, I, I hope you, you understand now, like everybody out there, yeah, what I just calculated for you here. What so, a great deal that is. He, that's what I'm saying. The minimum yeah. bet is an awesome, an awesome, amazing deal. And that's why probably like every single auction that can be started will be started, right? Because, I mean, why not? Everybody would at least... Probably, pay. yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably, yeah. So T-shirt price is $865, you know? And then if you pay already, in that case, uh, more than double, like 250% extra, you would still make a huge deal on that, you know? Patrick, now um, actually that I'm thinking, don't you think it could be possible that all the hexagons by bidding just uh, drive up the gas, pr gas price on that day? In following days, obviously, as well. Uh, I don't think so because it's 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 not like the the hardest function to run here. It's not like uh, it's effectively uh, programmed and so on. So I don't think so because uh, how much people will bet there? It will be like two or three contracts and uh, maybe a few hundred people, maybe a few thousand people at most at most. And uh, yeah, and usually that does not move the 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 weight up too much because nobody nobody will like uh, uh, put a transaction at 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 a huge amount, you know, because you always will have at least five minutes to make a, another bet, not All at right. least up to five minutes to make another bet, and that's like how much blocks are there? There are like uh, six Ethereum blocks per no one two three four like four to five blocks per minute so there are like plenty of blocks where you can get your transaction in. so patrick i just have the confirmation here from mass one t share is 780 dollars so let's calculate again interesting like, oh, um, I, I'm, I'm just wondering where he is looking it up because i i look it up at hex daily stats and there it says like at 865 maybe uh go.hex.com shows 780 or what Oh, it doesn't matter too oh, much. Okay. We can round the numbers a little bit. Let's say no. It was the, the yesterday's price. It was the I yesterday's see. price, but hex hex rose like uh, substantially today. So uh, that's why. Just because um, you were mentioning it as well, like let's point it out. What a great opportunity is is to participate in the auctions tomorrow. So um, let's make this calculation mm -hmm. again. The five thousand five hundred fifty-five days. Um, you times then times the 
What? No, the, the, the T shares times 1,000 that you come to B shares. Yeah. In that case, like 0 0.75 times 1,000 is 750. And uh, you times it by the days of the stake. So usually you should... I mean, there, there might be like a, a weird strategy to specifically look for stakes which aren't 5555. Uh, but I, I went away from the strategy. I would just like look it up for the 5555 once it's better. And um, yeah, that, that sum would be the minimum bet for this uh, to send the, this HSI stake to, to the auction. Mm -hmm. uh, and the minimum bet would be like less than 4.2 million. And then you can calculate that how you would like how much you would like to to put more in that yeah mm -hmm. uh, just saying in that case you know 4.2 million and if you go up to 10 million then it's still like a huge deal yeah, as i explained to you and in this case here you can um one t-share um, we just said it is about 800 dollars and 0 0.75 in this case is then i guess like 850 or something like this right and 850 dollars is basically then um like already a really 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 high um bit for this stake because um, right now uh, we have not calculated all the other um spectacularly stickiness that comes to the hsi stake here as well like you mentioned before for example that it is an unbelievable good t-share rate and so on and so on yeah, it's it's definitely something you should you should have a, a look on. In my point of view, it's definitely something really uh, important and something where you can make a, a great deal, I guess. All right, Patrick. So um, we have to, um, now looked here at the HSI model, at the HSI buybacks. We looked into the analytics. We already talked about how to. Um sort them and to really find your favorite HSI stakes and then also how to find them later again. We have talked about what is a minimum bet, what is a good strategy, what is a maximum bet that you should do. And you have talked about the value propositions of those stakes, right? So basically our individuals like me and you, we are all set with our individual strategy by now. Let's also talk a little bit about Poli because we had Gold Key here, for example. Sure. How will Poli play the game and who is Poli for maybe? Uh, Poli is for people who want to have access to uh, those auctions but don't have the time to participate uh, in it. And Poli is definitely also something for people who uh, want, who are like long-term holders, you know, and who only want to uh, to do something like once those HSI stakes are really available. Um, because what what I don't think is that you can like just put your heat run into Poli and then I don't know, like a few months from now, you would be able to uh, sell your Poli for let's say two heat run each. Yeah, that's something what I don't expect. I expect something more like the the new perpetuals, you know, where we we saw like uh, a few participants overpaying in the first few days after after start, and then uh, other people were like just selling it down, and now all the perpetuals, the new perpetuals, are all uh, at a at a discount, you know, and that's what I think will happen to to Poly in the first place as well, that it will be traded at a discount, and then like towards its end, but its end is like in fifteen years, um, you you it will get traded like to the to the treasury treasury value to the intrinsic value of one Poly. But obviously, um, you made a bold statement here on how the market of uh, could uh, participate with Poli, and you said that there will be a, a discount most of the time. Let's see how this will per, uh, work out because the maximum DAO team has done a lot to um, like include. Yeah, I didn't see that say like all of the time, but I, I mostly, most I, of the time, I think yeah. that mostly yes. And I think you definitely have a point here. Um, why this um, could play out like this. But um, what I actually wanted to talk about with you is um, how will the poly executor um, buy the bits? Do you know the the HSI stacks and like how does the executor sh um, choose which one to take? Um, so in this? the in the in the poly contract or in the poly um, debt, you can you can make a, suge a su suggestion of a stake to the executor if you want to. Uh, besides that, no, uh, no, nothing is known. There is like, it stands, don't have any expectation from the executor. 
But um, what we can do is, Patrick, let me bring up the screen share here again, because um, actually yeah. I, I saw uh, a tweet by Dipcatcher that already 500 billion hedron are in the poly contract. And now, why don't we just act yeah. like we are the poly contract and we um, act like we are the executor? Uh, what share uh, T-shares would you go for when if you were the executor? How many T-shares should we look for? Uh, 200. 200. To the maximum? To the maximum, yeah. How much is that? 38. Yeah, it's not much. <laughs> Perfect. And then I guess we click on the T-shirts because we want the biggest ones maybe. Hmm? Uh, no, maybe can... I would also go like a bit start day because as you see, it's like December yeah. 19th and so on and so on. And, and again, mm -hmm. yeah. And here we go. Uh, yeah. And here like the the first ones, you know. And I guess oh, it's so like the first 20 or something like that. I don't know like how much are on the 13s. Do you, you have your calculator ready? Calculate I have a calculator ready, yeah. Uh, you so, want to see like the minimum bet of that or what? Exactly. Uh, so, so it's 388.690 B shares times 5555. That's 2.16 billion Hedron as a minimum bet for the first one. 2.16 billion all right so this seems yeah. not to be too much right so maybe maybe we look into a bigger one so basically the poly executed like the one really... 1000 one down there or what but that's oh. that's already like november 14 so that's like the first one on the next day hmm that could be really interesting as well but i guess the poly executor will really look yeah, for a november 13 stack huh or whatever actually yeah, the community the, has the, 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 no the, the what i know i guess they are doing but they do participate in the auctions the first week mm. yeah maybe patrick you can um, get into what cryptos loss was saying that if the first day is over right the uh, second day starts so we have like um, a range of where the auctions can end because basically an auction can go forever as long as people are bidding on it right so um yeah, yeah I think... you know I, I i don't know like if those contracts will automatically send all the the HSI stakes to auction. I have no idea, bro. That might be. That might not be. So it can also be that uh, on the on the Icosa page you actually uh, search in the in the first the borrowed HSI hex stakes where you can send them to auction. And not like actually in the in the one above in the active HSI hex stake auctions. <laughs> it's <laughs> so hard. To... Yeah, man. Let's bring up the the, the screen share. I, I just read it. You know, it's like here it says borrowed HSI hex stakes. So the list here, and down here is like the active HSI hex stakes stake auctions. Oh. Exactly. And this is actually uh, something that I just saw as well. Patrick, why is there already one HSI stake auction going on here? Uh, because the option to do that was already optional before the launch of ICOSA. It was just not really used. As you can see, like this one, which is here, it was just like a, a, a play one, a test one from somebody. Uh, because you see like staked hex, 200 hex and stake days two days <laughs> so uh that that stake actually is like it's like way way over so you you won't even get like 200 hex out of that because stake days is two days you know that's like uh 90 days ago or well, that was 90 days ago it looks to me that this stake if it's still going on and it is so otherwise we would not see it here it's stuck in the ether i do not know if anybody will ever do anything with it what do you think? Would it, it has already a bidder. It already oh, has a bidder, of course. It's there. If it's there in this oh, list it must, here, it, it already a has a bidder. It <laughs> must have a bidder then. I, you know? I see what you're saying, yeah. And, and that's what I what, what I wanted to explain right now, you know. Uh, it might be that you search in this list uh, in a few days from now and not necessarily in that one here. Because mm. I don't know if the contracts are like just sending it in or or if the individuals need to send them in individually because then you might create like the maximum of chaos and then you might uh, be able to to find the best pearls in there the best diamonds That's i don't know crazy I, crazy crazy, yeah, crazy. I, I it will definitely be crazy it and, will yeah, be that's so why, interesting that's why i would 
would recommend that you have a list, especially like a list of those ones you might want to want to buy and hold. Yeah, uh, for those ones you definitely need to have a list. For the other ones, you it might be possible to to just have like hex model open and have like uh, Icosa open, but. Uh, it will be a, a hard thing because on on the Icosa side you only see like the the, the stake shares for example and then like uh, from the stake shares you need to uh, filter hex model pretty good you know and then you know that you f find the stakes. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's that will be a hassle. Um, obviously, if there is a programmer, program him his um, own page, then it would be so much easier for this person. But uh, the yeah, normal user, like would you it? and me, I, I guess it? if I could would program really? my own, if I could program my yeah, own, because you, you, that looks nice. Yeah, and, and how? <laughs> no? It's not possible, bro. Because uh, why do you think that Pauli has an executor? Why do you think it's not like a admin, uh, without admin key smart contract? I don't know if you have understood what I said. Um, all I said is that somebody who can program his own site where he can then maybe program in to find and search will have it easier. Ah, okay. But I'm saying all the developers like uh, Alex, for example, and also um, our uh, Maximus DAO guys, they have a huge advantage in playing the crypto game compared to somebody like you and me, for example. I, I don't, I'm not sure about that because they will focus on, on filling up their contracts, you know. And I mean the the Hedron deployer contract, for example, will just focus on that uh, the the stakes will be sending in, you know, and maybe the Hedron deployer contract will just wait for for the next weekend uh, for low gas prices, you know, and then it will just like make the minimum bets, and if nobody takes uh, uh, yeah gives attention to that, then yeah. Uh, Hedron deployer contract is happy. Uh, uh, but exactly that's why I think that you can make good deals as a human because it's hard to research it properly and uh, not much people have it on, on their radar. And yeah, that's why you are just competing with maybe two to three contracts and a few hundred people. So it, it might lead to a good deal. So for example, I also did a, a HSI stake in the beginning and I will, uh, I'm still thinking about that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will borrow the heat run on that. Uh, and doing so, have, I will have like more, more purchasing power in heat run. And right. then with my, in a few months, because this also has like a 10x launch bonus. So in a few months from now, or in a, yeah, like in one and a half years, I would have like repaid this loan just with my with my free mint of the of the hex ladder. Awesome, but no, there's something just really... with the free mint, just with the free mint of this specific stake, not with the whole hex ladder. Yeah, there's something really interesting in our private chat here, and maybe this is uh, funny because uh, look at the. I will bring up your screen share again, and maybe we can actually calculate on the um, on this auction that is going on here, the active HSI stake auctions, and um, how much over bidding is going on on this specific stake? Yeah, because it's 8.65 times <laughs> times 2. <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, actually it was only 17.3 hedron. Uh, As you can see, like mint table hedron, that's like the minimum bet. And somebody betted uh, 5,555 hedron for that. So that's like uh divided by 17.3 that's like 321 times more than the minimum bet exactly so overpaying like crazy probably just to try it out you know somebody um... i i have no idea i i don't know like who who is that maybe it's like the uh can i bring it up no i i cannot click on the on the on the address to to find out like if it's maybe the the hedron deployer itself or no it's not the hedron deployer so i don't know uh who is like playing around there because what what's what's the case is that he in this case 5555 minus 17.31 hedron will effectively get burned and that's like the, the the nice thing of the auctions as well everything which is which gets overpaid will be 
effectively burned hydra, uh, making the total supply smaller. That's cool. Exactly. Actually, this is a really good point that you bring up. We are almost at the end of our show, but and we will also want to talk a little bit to our chat. So if you have a question, put that in the chat right now. And um, Pedro, where did we just uh, stop? <laughs> now I forgot my question. Damn it. Um, Hexecutor is saying it's probably the executor testing what is going on with the Azure's I stake auctions, the one stake there. Um, but Patrick, the no, executioner no. is also saying, like, yeah, uh, that somebody has to send them into the active auction. I remembered my question now. So now we have the HSI auctions going on. November 13th are the first ones to roll out, and then we have more and more and more. I mean, what do you think will be yeah. the impact of the auctions in the next couple of weeks or months or like time to come? What does it mean for Hedron and Icosa, all those auctions going on? I don't think they will pump if that was what you wanted to hear right now. I always want to hear that it pumps, but um, yeah, yeah well, um, we have a lot of burning going on here, right? Like, a, a... Yeah, and you saw that already, like with a, a recent burn event, right? That it does not make a direct indication to the price. Yes, 100%. A direct, it doesn't do anything directly to the price because... Oh, the only thing that matters for price, we know already, is buying and selling. And when it gets burned, it doesn't uh, do anything to price. We can maybe look at the Pulse Dogecoin here, for example. Really successful burn. I think like 50% of all Pulse Dogecoin burned, but the price um, goes up and down and is basically just like it was a couple of weeks ago. But still, I want to ask you for your opinion and this ecosystem that was built with ICOSA. I know you're able to send your HSI stakes to the ICOSA. The, he, uh, the auction start in a couple of days and I'm wondering what does it do to all the hedron supply that is uh, burned you know like how much will the market value that in the future we obviously don't know I don't think so because on the, on, the, on the other side you know each and every hex taker each and every day can can inflate the hedron total supply so it's not like that all of the, the hedron is already given out and nobody can create any any hedron of, of new inflation anymore, you know. So that's why it's... All right. So other question, Patrick. Um, it, let's it does not back. really matter, you know. And, and as I said, I don't think that those prices will pump. And when it comes to ICOSA specifically, I'm more leaning towards that it will dump next week. Okay, so let's talk about the dumping think. first, and then we talk about... Um, so why could ICOSA dump? What is your idea about that? So the, first, of all, a, first, first of all, a bad actor could come in the auctions, get good deals, exchange them for ICOSA, and immediately uh, sell that off and just walk away with the money. And uh, the second thing, the second reason is that a lot of people are, especially like bigger ones, are coming out of their of their Hedron and Icosa stakes uh, after like 90 days. So exactly like on the first day of those auctions. And uh, that might also lead to to some to some sell off, you know, because it's just like a lot of uh, supply, which is right now still in the stakes will fr be freed up. And that could that and like the the other the other thing, you know, that people can just like Theoretically speaking, make a quick buck. You know, maybe you need thirty dollars of of heat run to get an HSI stake, and then you can get seven hundred dollars of a casa for it. Um, so that those two things are like the risk of the casa price right now. And I'm I hope that it comes because uh, one of my uh, strategies to go like against this um, this this reasonable thing is a one-sided liquidity position in the hex icosa pair in hex like lower than the actual hex icosa ratio where you only need only hex and if the people are like selling it down they will first like uh, grab the hex out of your position and put their icosa in there uh, and you get like all the fees uh, for those trades and over time it's it's like a it's fixed. It's it's definitely you know it's a hundred percent. It will be like that over time. It will be uh, up again. You know. It will just and why is that? Because again. the T share price is only going up, right? 
yes and that's, that's uh like what 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 uh, icosa is kind of mirroring because over time you will get less and less icosa exchanging an hsi stake because as t share rate goes up you get less icosa for exchanging so basically what you were describing here is a long term liquidity position mm, not necessarily that long term so with the one sided hex liquidity position it could be 5 days it could be a month it could be 3 months all right yeah that's uh, not too long term i was thinking like a five uh -huh. or more all right patrick so no. now we talked about the price a little bit and because you always always know i want to talk about the price but let's go away from the price at all because we do not know what the market will do right what will those auctions do to the yield that you can earn in icosa it will go up right uh, 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 let me let me read this comment here since icosa is new and liquidity hasn't uh, hasn't had a whole lot of time to be established to put yourself into max slippage situation by minting icosa and selling it into liquidity that is too thin would be odd yeah yeah i mean but a bad actor might still do that and that's why i say like for the good actors there is no need to sell those icosa uh but what you can do is like make a one sided liquidity position over the hex hedron ratio uh hex icosa ratio i'm sorry over the hex icosa ratio and then over time uh the position will go like in there people will take the icosa out of this position and put the hex in there and depending like which range you have i would um i would say on the top side a narrower range if you put like hex on the downside in a broader range like 30 percent down um and yeah then you should be good. Let's see like how that works out. So I, I'm, I'm willing to find out, you know, and as you, as the guy say, says in the chat, you know, it's, it would be odd to, to just sell it down, you know, in a, in a, in a liquidity pool, which does not have like as much liquidity, but uh, it still might happen, you know, and if it happens, I have the liquidity there and I earn all the fees, you know, and in the end, uh, after some time, I will just have more hex into this liquidity position. And if the first week is like really, really crazy, let's let's say it like that, uh, then within this one week, you might be able to make 10% of fees in this pool. Uh, and if it goes out of your range, like to the top, you will have all hex in this position, in this position again. And that will happen sooner or later. So that will happen. That's a pretty good play, a pretty good strategy. Patrick, thank you so much for that. This is, I think, a really, really good alpha for somebody to actually try it out, you know, but it, it because it doesn't seem to be too risky because normally being in a liquidity pool can be risky. You do not want to end up with one token that is worthless, right? This is always the problem. But now um, you, you put in your liquidity for ICOSA, the price goes down, you are maybe full in ICOSA, but then eventually what you're saying over the couple next weeks or months, since the T-shirt price is only going up, this should be, um, change into HEX again in the future. Mm -hmm. So awesome, awesome strategy. Patrick, okay, so I know you don't like to talk about the price because it's the market that actually defines the price and we do not know what the market does. But let's talk a little bit yeah. about the yield that you can earn on um Hedron or Icosa, and that will be doing that will do a lot the auctions to the yield that you can earn, right? Uh, does it? I don't know. I don't have any numbers for that in mind because I don't have any 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 stake Hedron right now because I want to to bid uh, with those Hedron, and uh, same goes for for Icosa. So I have Watsa NFT stakes. They, those are like yielding the best. But I have no idea how the yield is. And the yield is like pretty fluctuating because mm -hmm. it depends on how much uh, traction, on how much volume there is with HSI auctions and uh, all that kind of stuff. So you cannot say like, uh, yeah, you have an average APY of 38% or something like that. What you can do when it comes to hex. Or you can always say like, if you stake hex for a year, you will get uh, around 11 to 12% of interest. So you cannot say that with Hex or uh, with Hedron or Icosa staking. Very, very good. Okay, so Hex if, you, if you have like perfect uh, numbers for me, then please make screen share and show us everything you know. But I guess you just like wanted to know numbers from me and uh, haven't thought about like that those are pretty fluctuated. 
I, I just want to have a casual talk with my friend. That's that's all I'm pursuing here. So Executor <laughs> is saying, I like that liquidity providing sets as limit orders and trading fee nets, right? So uh, what you, uh, because he's talking it's, about- It's not a limit order. Thing. It's like a one-sided, it's by a one-sided liquidity position, yeah. yeah it, it but you're like you saying order, like, I okay, I, yeah. Uh, because, you know, if you, if you make like a, uh, or, uh, uh, yeah, might be. So if you make like a, a broad range, uh, let's say right now the the range uh, or the ratio uh, ICOSA to hex is one to thirty four, and uh, you assume it goes down to like it makes a fifty percent dip. It goes down to one to seventeen. Then you could like set up your limit position from uh, thirty four to. To let's say 17 and if it reaches the, the lowest price you could uh, take your liquidity position which is only in ICOSA at that point and maybe you make more that way by the by the price appreciation afterwards you know but that's uh, that's more speculative uh, but what's definitely a fact is you can set it um, I, I would say I would go in the range 34 to 20 34 to 25 something like that and uh, just wait until the ratio is over 34 again. And that yeah. might come in a week, that might come in, uh, in in a few weeks, that might come in a few months. Because it's it's a speculation, you know? It's just like, it might be that people are dumping down ICOS. If it's not happening, then uh, it's also no problem because then you would just have hex there and it would be just like park tax. And then uh, the only thing, you lost a little bit of money because you lost the transaction fee to provide the liquidity and you lost the transaction fee to um, end the liquidity position. So like yeah, you were saying, I'm... it seems to be not that risky. And also I want to use these words here. The strategy that you were just explaining, it's also a strategy to just um, yeah set it and forget it. Right, like if you have set this pos liquidity position, you want to wait until Icosa drops, anyways, and you are now filled yep. in Icosa, maybe hundred percent, and then you just have to wait, mm -hmm. anyways. This is the the idea of the whole strategy, and I think that's pretty pretty cool. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you you know you don't need to monitor it uh, closely or something like that. It's like just uh, once a week or even once a month. It it really doesn't matter, you know, how how often you you looked it up. Maybe once a month does matter a little bit. Um, and then, okay, you see, ah, it's over my, my, my ratio again. Uh, it, let's say 35. No, I put it to 34. Uh, I put it in, I don't know, a hundred thousand hex. Now with the trading, it is a uh, hundred and five thousand hex, a hundred and ten thousand hex or whatever. I don't know. And yeah, you just made like a few percent in, um, a month or a couple of months. And that's, that's good. By I, I guess you know if it happens. So if it happens, the dumping, then you would will easily get more uh, more hex on this position than staking the hex. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. So really, really interesting times in front of us. The auction start. Let's uh, use the number here in three days, right? Depending on where you are. So November thirteen. This is when everything starts, and it will probably go on for a couple of days, right? So, Patrick, what is your estimation? Like, uh, when will the first stakes actually? And like, you know, the auctions can go forever, but what do you think? Like on the next day, 25 hours, is it possible that there's stake already ending? Like not really ending, but the auction ending, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, so I guess not... the, the first, the first auctions will end in exactly uh, 96 hours from now. Well, if Or nobody's bidding, right? If nobody's bidding on that. Now. Uh, not necessarily because you know you have the 24 hour timer and if nobody makes a bit in the last hour or in the last 10 minutes then uh, the timer will just run out you know and mm -hmm. then it's done so uh, there will be always those 24 hour timer so it will uh, let's bring up my, my screen share again so it will always be like here this kind of auction end timer mm -hmm. and only if here it is like zero 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 five or zero four and something and then somebody makes another bit only then the timer goes another five minutes in the future which does not mean that it is like 24 hours and five minutes because if i made it like four minutes before the actual timer runs out it's only one minute more 
I hope that was as understandable. <laughs> well, a lot of numbers for sure. Yeah. And, and so, so that's why. So I'm pretty sure that in 95 hours from now, the first HSI will have a new owner. All right. Really, really exciting. And besides that, Patrick, I do not see any more questions. Is there maybe something else that we have not touched on yet, but you definitely want to mention in this live stream today? Maybe it doesn't even have to be about Hedron. Mm, no, not really. I, I guess we are good. So, okay, so uh, uh, you have not know, seen... everything everything can can be done over the ICASA page. I liked it a lot. And uh, together with Hex model, those are like the best researching tools for that. And uh, then also like what you showed in the in the beginning of the stream, the uh, the Google file, the Excel, uh, the open Excel file, which you can download and then play with the numbers for yourself as well, which can help you calculate um, different HSIs. Let's put it into uh, the chat as well, the calculator, so you can try it out as well. But Patrick, um, I don't know if you have seen it. PAX was pumping um, yesterday or today. I don't even know. And it was pretty, pretty good. Today. today. Should, should we maybe look at the price just to end the stream and give everybody a comfortable feeling that um, HEX is over three cents again? Yeah, HEX is over three cents again. I don't have more to share here, actually. Yeah, when we... we, we... We can bring it up. Why not? Um, so crypto market was pretty green uh, yesterday. No, go away. So, um, yeah, Hex made a new all-time low beforehand as well. Before, like the rest of the crypto market uh, went down by far. Makes a good retrace, but you know, uh, it's hard to say. You know, I, I cannot. Without pulse chain out, I cannot say that hex uh, will be anti-correlated if Bitcoin drops to 11k. Uh, I would say that if we don't have pulse chain. Yeah, but uh, pulse chain is such a the hex price is so event driven right now. It's just event driven. If Richard comes out and says in two weeks we are pulse chain, uh, for sure we are like up here. Yeah. Um, so it's just event driven. Yeah, if if Richard but, comes out and says, "Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I need till someone next year," we might be under three cents, pretty easy, you know. But um, what I have seen is that the price went down to two point three cents or something, right? But then it got bought up right away by the hexagons. I think it was in the same hour or something like this. Um, how would you say? Would you say this is a strong signal for the hexagons that three cents seems to be uh, could be the bottom? Yeah, I mean, if you talk about the bottom right now, the bottom was here. It's two point ten cents. You know? But yeah, I mean, it's. I, I don't want to answer this question, bro, because you know, as I already told you, the hex price is extremely event driven. And if Bitcoin drops to eleven k in the next uh, one to three months, I don't think the time window is like bigger than that. Um, I, I can just hope that hex is not affected by that. But I I don't know. Uh, I like actually the the hex Bitcoin chart a lot because on this hour candle, you know, we made also like a dip in the hex Bitcoin chart, and then hex started to recover, but Bitcoin started dipping. <laughs> <laughs> a few yeah, days ago, you could have you you could have gotten uh uh um hex for 160 satoshi and today the high was like already 220 satoshi so pretty cool or or like the other way around if you exchanged your bitcoin in this dip uh you can now exchange your bitcoin back and still have 30 percent in hex Mm -hmm. And the executor is saying the hex dip that we saw was an example of a seller selling into thin liquidity. And the seller, um, he was an um, OG hexagon, staked everything um, on day 62, so pretty early. And he put in not that much uh, of money, but was able to get out like 2.7 million, I think. <clears throat> and when he sold the 80 million hex on the market, well, this brought it down to 2.3. And it's just crazy what kind of slippage he was eating. Like, I think his average price was 2.4 and the, the, the price was going up to 3 cents, like, in the same hour for me this personally for me this was a strong signal that people want to have three cents hex that they would like to buy hex at 2.9 cents already at 2.8 cents they scoop this up this is what it shows to me 
you're you're not wrong, you know. But I don't know if that's substantial or not. Uh, with all those things going on on the crypto market and with the with the hex price being so event driven, why there is there is no chart analysis reliable. Um, you what you can make reliable. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry yeah. to tell you guys. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, because you... I don't know if you if you heard like my last live streams, you know. Where, like, for example, the last one, uh, what we had when Hex was nearly at, at five at five cents or like one day or two days later, I was starting off the live stream. I was 100% sure that we go lower and not higher. Yeah. And you know that like from our private talks, what we what we had, I was I was like more than 100% convinced that we go lower. And then we went from 3.2 to nearly five cents. And then we had another lower low. So... Mm -hmm. Um, don't one... don't try to get like any bullish chart analysis out of me because I'm still in bear market uh, sentiment. Well, and you're in bear market I still sentiment. think that Bitcoin did not bottom out yet, and I have no idea how the hex price will will do there. Because uh, you know, it's not like that. If Bitcoin goes to 11k, hex needs to go down. It's not like that. But uh, it might be that if Bitcoin goes to 11K and some other regulators make uh, whatever uh, bad statement, it might be that just like another hack super shark is like, oh, oh, crypto is dead now, Blah, sell everything uh, and just murders the price again, you know, making another lower low. Uh, because like three days ago, I was also convinced, OK, no, I don't think we have a new lower low coming. And then the guy comes around, you know, and dumps 80 million hacks in one fucking order. Yeah, it makes like the, the nearly the daily volume in one transaction. Crazy. And uh, nobody could have seen that um, anybody would like to um, yeah, get into this kind of slippage, right? Patrick, the stream is already a little bit long here. Normally we do our streams one hour, but still I want to bring up That's one good. thing because yesterday I was actually talking to Wolverine, right? And I want to have Wolverine on okay, KSB yeah. TV, but I did not know what uh, time I should schedule with him. He told me to do it as soon as puts Bitcoin is available on the market. But me, I would like to do it before. And right now I do not have it in my head. When do, when is the first post Bitcoin available? It should be like 13 days or something like this, right? In nine days from now. So in nine days from now, what do you think? Like, should we have Wolverine on before or after those nine days? Um, in that case, after, because in the next two weeks, I will be pretty busy. I see what you're saying. All right. Okay. Then the question has uh, answered itself. Um, not, not because of the HSI stakes, but uh, yeah, you guys might know I'm in, in South America and originally I'm from Europe. And uh, on Saturday for two weeks, my, my father will uh, vis be visiting me. And that's why I will not do like too much live streams. And I, I think maybe one German live stream, you know, uh, the one hour. Uh, but with the English one, you are doing live streams, you're bringing out the documentary and so on. So I guess all the people out there right now have all my alpha. And then I would uh, I would like to make more English, English streams in, in two weeks from now. But let's see, Patrick, you said that maybe, maybe there is a little chance that you find like a half an hour um, to be online before the post Bitcoin goes like because Mars is also saying before it would make uh, it would be a smart move and I would love to have Wolverine on so let's see if we can arrange it if not no problem we do it afterwards after those um, nine days no problem at all right? yeah I mean you know I, I it, it's a little hard for me because I on our channel on this channel here I would definitely always advise people don't FOMO into pools Bitcoin uh, that's why I would I would rather have it after, you know, because <laughs> right. then uh, then uh, yeah the 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 only thing is like exactly at the start no exactly well, it's, the it's, it's, so it's, though, right? it's it's yeah, yeah the thing is it's it's hard to say you know because it might be that uh, the prices will go will be like stamped into the ground uh, just at the first day. Because all the all the ATM NFTs could come out, you know, and uh, they they got minted for one for one dollar value, and right now the the market price is like one one fifteen one twenty, and there might be just like capital in there who wants to just make a quick buck, you know. 
uh, and, and also, they just then... like end their ATM and sell it down because for example now they need ten thousand dollars to get ten thousand ASICs and if they sell it down they get like uh, eleven thousand dollars let's say yeah and also I think this uh, the case is that when you were able to start those ATMs right you could uh, sacrifice not sacrifice but you could use your hex in order to make an ATM and hex was in price of uh, three cents or around or about when you were able to uh, do that yeah. then later on hex yeah. went up a little bit and I bet a lot of yeah. people um, did ATMs in this time as well and now it's a lower this yeah. price again so um yeah like you said maybe um, when the people redeem their ATMs and get the Essex, they are so much in profit already that they want to sell. So I definitely could um, see a sell off like you're saying as well. I mean, yeah, if, if you see that, you know, if you see bulls Bitcoin under a dollar, it's definitely a buy. If you see ASIC tokens under a dollar, it's also definitely a buy. Uh, but yeah, so let's see. So uh, and in general, you know, I, I really don't want to uh, recommend uh anybody actively buying pulse bitcoin i mean under a dollar i'm i'm kind of of sure that it will be a good a good buying opportunity uh but over that you know if it's like three dollars four dollars five dollars i would just recommend go with your asic tokens and mine a few months then you just get the same you know and then you you have like two tokens with like you doubled your money after a few months of mining basically if Pulse Bitcoin reaches a few dollars. And the reason why I brought it up with Wolverine, if you should do it after or before, is because it is time sensitive, right? After this, um, after this day, you cannot mint ATMs anymore. And that's why I thought, like, maybe it's smart to do it before, you know, just to inform everybody, because this is what KSB TV is all about. Informing yeah, but, about but we did that on the first day. That's and we, 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 we showed everybody that the right way to go is over the ATMs. We showed everybody that the right way is there and not like to, to buy more expensive ASIC tokens on the market because uh, if, the, if the ASIC token is like 40% more, like 140, then with the ATM where you get it for one, then after, after the end of the third mining circle, Think about with 40%, I'm not 100% sure. With 50%, it's the truth. With 40%, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, in the end of the third or the fourth mining cycles, so like months, third or fourth months, you already have more Pulse Bitcoin mined than if you purchase a 40% premium on the AC token. I see what you're saying. All right. Well, thank you so much um, for this excursion into Pulse Bitcoin, Pulse Dogecoin a little bit as well. So I think with this, we have um, like finished our stream. We talked so much about Hedron and about amazing alpha strategies that uh, you provided for us. Um, I think the liquidity providing idea is amazing where you put hex under the, the price and then once ICOSA dumps, you get filled in this liquidity position totally in ICOSA and then you just wait until the price range goes up again and you end up with more hacks than you had before and even more hacks than you could have end up by staking it by yourself as well. And then obviously Pulse Dogecoin, Pulse Bitcoin, something to look into to maybe transform your two Pulse Dogecoin into Pulse Bitcoin and get some ASICs miner um, running as well. And um, mm -hmm. besides that, no more questions in the chat. And this means we will now just um, think about really quick uh, what will go on next week on KSB TV. Patrick already said it, that um, he will probably not be available. Maybe you will find a half an hour. Let's see. But what is going on in KSB TV is every single day, there is at least one short coming out of Richard, of Las Vegas, or of my testimonials, of the 5555 testimonials that I'm editing right now. And every other day, there's a new testimonial for you to see. I think um, it's everything is planned already until the next three days. And now I have to roll out the next couple of episodes. If you do not want to wait, then you could do something as well. You could go to KSB TV YouTube, become a member, and then you can watch all the content even before the public can do that. I think that is pretty cool and only costs nine. $1.99, it helps the million posters to come for, to fruition. So I want to say thanks to everybody who was in the chat here with us today and grabbed all the alpha. We see us in a couple of days. Last words for you, Patrick? 
Uh, no, uh, thanks for everybody in the chat. I hope I, I gave you some nice ideas for the system. I wish you an, uh, a good treasure hunt in a couple of days from now. And yes, don't overlook it, guys, because I guess you can make an awesome financial loop there. And I'm pretty sure that there will be stakes uh, going over the, uh, over the table with a huge deal, you know, compared to the actual shares. Value. That sounds that sounds great. I cannot wait to treasure hunt to get some juicy t-shirts. Bye bye guys. Bye bye guys.